Despite us now living in a case demic and not an actual pandemic, that's assuming that a more serious virus doesn't suddenly come out of nowhere. Taiwan, New Zealand, Australia, you know, they took their experience and actually prepared, and so they moved a lot faster. Uh, so we, you know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That, you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time. The idea of a, a bioterrorist attack is kind of the nightmare scenario because there a pathogen with a high death rate would be picked. Now the good news is, okay. I'm not to try to pop them Too late. Right now, Too that late. most of the work we're going to do to be ready for pandemic two, I, I call this pandemic one, most of the work we're going to be ready for that are also the things we need to do uh, to minimize the threat of, of bioterrorism. Uh, Pretty ballsy, right? That's from uh, Dave Collins' channel, Computing Forever. I like Dave. He does really, really good stuff. And the corona, or the scandemic, or the plandemic, or whatever you want to call it, that's Dave's bugaboo. It, it is the bee in his bonnet. He does the legwork, and he's really good. The clips are from uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce interview that's what it says in the corner and uh colbert report the colbert report is where he says bioterror attack like this wasn't one like i have a brother i love my brother but he's in the window okay i'm the baby of the family this is what the baby looks like everybody else got ears on me my eldest brother is in the window, and he is Captain Corona. I told you that before. That's what we call him, Captain Corona, because he's Corona, 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 Corona. Okay. I offered to buy him a decommissioned cosmonaut suit from the friggin' Russians for his birthday. <laughs> They're really expensive, and I ain't got that kind of money since I'm still laid off. It would be a fucking awesome present, though. Here you go. Here's your uh, helmet and spacesuit and your... um. Uh, uh, environmental bag that you're supposed to carry. It's a big friggin' suitcase that holds the AC and stuff. Good evening, folks. Happy Friday. Um, the balls on these people. As more and more people wake up, more and more people become wise to what's going on here. My sister is now full-blown she has become like a corona karen she's out there repeatedly telling people this is bullshit i had to laugh because she came home and i was listening to sticks and she goes you know i really like him he's good and i'm like okay <laughs> i like sticks i listen to him i listen to a lot of people like i said this is dave collins channel um the, the fact that these guys are making it through to the normies now. I love my family, but I'm Uncle Crazy. What the nephews call me. Actually, the nephews call me Uncle Bad Influence. Because my life is a tale of things not to do. Uh, tell you what, don't do them, but you'll miss out on the fun. Did have some fun doing some really stupid shit. So, anyway... with the corona bullshit, which I really think is the motivator for people just flying away. You know what? Probably not. Probably secondary to, well, it's a fiery, peaceful protest. Like, it's a bunch of hippies around a bonfire fucking dropping mushrooms and singing Kumbaya. Um, no, no, it's not really a very peaceful protest if you're committing fucking arson. It's the way the normies are being told by the propaganda arm of the DNC, the MSN, you know what Trump calls them, fake news. They are fucking fake news. You can blame Obama. It was shit. I want to say something Stedman, but I know that's wrong. You can look it up, but 13 or 14, he repeals the part of the law that says you can lie to the American people as a newspaper. 
that's right. So the, your government at the time, I don't think Trump does it as bad, but uh, I'm sure he's got a finger in the pie somewhere. And uh, the uniparty scum that, you know, have just been entrenched for decade upon decade. You have to remember most of these people have zero interest in who the president is. What they really have an interest is, is um, the big fat paychecks, the benefits, and the power. See, they're the elite. You are scum. You are, as I said before, and I'll say it again. One second. Cattle on a tax farm. Let me pause this and I will be right back, all right? Alrighty, sorry folks. Um, I have family responsibilities. And that was one of them. Um, I think we were discussing before I left, because I'm old and have CRS and don't remember, the fact that uh, the mainstream news has taken it in the shorts. As more and more people turn away from the normie news and are joining us here on the internet. Because we're not here to lie to you. I'm not. I am sure there are people that are. I said, I don't know, like a year ago when Tim Poole said he was a liberal and a Democrat. And I'm like, you know, he's doing exactly what the news does. He just feeds you bullshit because that's what makes him money. And I could be right. I could be wrong. I don't know. And I'm not looking to insult Tim. But. Now he's going to vote Trump. He doesn't have any choice. He can't believe the way everything's falling apart. And like a year, year and a half ago, I left him a, a reply on one of his videos. I don't think he reads them. And I'm like, dude, pull your head out of your fucking ass. Everything you're talking about is proven not to work. 180 degrees later. So I don't know. Was he running the scam for the money? Maybe. I don't know. Does he truly believe that what he thought 18 months, two years ago is correct? Maybe. I don't know. One of my best friends is still a classical liberal. He's from the Pacific Northwest. He buys into all that hippy-dippy liberal bullshit. I'm an ex-New Yorker. With completely different upbringings. He grew up in a more rural setting where People had elbow room. I grew up in a fucking sardine can where everybody knew the rules. This is my personal space. Stay the fuck out of it. That's why New Yorkers are so mean and aggressive to people who don't understand New Yorkers. On the other hand, we, when I lived there, I don't know about now, but when I lived there, we were some of the nicest people you could ever met in your life. I bought beers from more fucking strangers who were just visiting than I can count. In my hometown, I gotta buy you beer. I just just the way it is. But Jeff, tell me your story. I'll buy you a beer. I need your story. Anyway. With Gates just literally telegraphing you that the next pandemic, Pandemic 2, is coming, and he literally calls it Biological Weapons and Biological Warfare. You heard him with your own ears. You wonder why people are leaving. You wonder why they are flying away in droves. There is always going to be that small percentage of people who can't wrap their mind around the concept. Their team has to be their team. It's worked for ever. Red, blue. Capitalism, communism. Yankees, Bow Sox. Where I grew up, it was Giants Dallas, Giants Philly, Giants anybody. Because, you know, Giants were my team. I've covered this before. I don't watch sports anymore. Once I got tuned into the bread and circuses thing, and I watched them repeatedly water down the rules, I gave up. You know, when you look at the guys who played... 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe even into the 90s. Although in the 90s, they started to pussify the rules in football. Those guys couldn't exist in the league now. They'd be banned after one game. On the other hand, um, it would be fun watching them break people into little pieces, which was always my favorite part of the game. 
Just saying. That's this one. I'm going to do headlines next. But I wanted to get the thing out there where Gates literally tells you Skindemic 2 is coming. It's a bio-warfare. It's a biological weapon. Covered this not too long ago when Obama dropped $140 million to build the Wuhan lab. No, he did. That, that's fake news. Snope says. Take it for what it's worth, folks. Uh, I, again, I just digest the shit and spew it back at you. I'm like a mama bird puking into a baby bird's mouth. Probably not the best imagery there. Works for the channel a lot. So, thanks for swinging by. I'm going to do headlines next. Because we have a shitload of them. One of those days. Good Friday, folks. Have a nice weekend. I will catch you on the next one. Let's cool.